Get your game faces on, because it's time for the face-off. One person from each team, come down and join me here at the front. There's four answers for you to find. Get those buzzer fingers ready. In our survey, we asked 100 people, name a kind of building that has many beds in it. You're in first. What you got? Yeah. That's good. And what did our survey say? House. That's not what we're looking for. Take a shot at it and see if you can do better. Name a kind of building that has many beds in it. Yeah, yeah. Right yeah. Okie dokie. Survey said, nursing home. Oh, too bad. Think you can do better? Give me what you got. Name a kind of building that has many beds in it. Good answer. Got it. Survey says, hotel. We found the top answer. Decision time, will you play or pass? You gonna play again? Okay. You can do it. What do you think? Uh... Nice. Understood. Let's take a look. Jail. That's a good one. There's just two answers up there. Oh. Good. That's what you're going with? Let's see it. Shelter. You're doing great. Hey. Name a kind of building that has many beds uh -huh. in it. Oh, nice. That's what you think, huh? Show me that answer. Hospital. And that board is clear. You are forging ahead now. Let's see how the scores look. Don't feel so bad about a big fat zero. Look at it this way. If you end up with nothing, you don't have to pay any taxes on it. Nowhere near as painful as it sounds, it's the face-off. I'm going to need one person from both families to join me up here. <laughs> Top four answers up on the board. Time to raise the stakes. We're doubling the points. We got 100 people to answer the following question. Name something people try to peek through. You're first. What's your answer? Yeah. That's your answer. Let's see if it's up there. Classroom. <laughs> No. We can do better than that, right? Sure thing. Is that answer good enough? 
binoculars. Unlucky. Guess what? We need an answer. Good answer. Okay. Time to check the board. Window. That's the number one answer. Time to decide, play or pass. And they're playing again. What do you think? We need another answer. All righty then. There aren't many answers left. Is it there? Hole. Uh, you hear that noise? That's a strike. Uh, what answer do you have for us this time? Uh-huh. Good. Oh, okay. Only a few answers left. Have you found one of them? Gate! Strike two. Okay, people. Let's be careful here. You can still do it. Whoops. One more strike, and the other family gets to try for a steal. Interesting answer. Will that be one of the missing answers? Curtains. This game is not over yet. Oh. Remember, if you don't get this one, the other family has a chance to steal. I see where you're going with this. Let's check the board and see if it made it. Door. You're still in the game. All right. Look, we've got two strikes. We've got to be careful. Um... Yes. Got it. Is that the last answer on the board? Presents! Dang, that's three strikes. Sorry, folks. The other Ooh, family nice. has a chance. Now the other family only need to find one answer, and they can take this round. You could steal these points and give yourselves a great chance. All right, let's try it. Show me the answer. Fog. That's not what we're looking for. Yeah, way to stretch out that lead. There's just one answer we didn't find. And number four, please. Mail. And now it's time for one last look at the scores. We have a winning family. No way. Our solo superstar is going on to fast money. Well, oh, no. it's time to say goodbye to the lovely Lee family. What should we do now? Oh. I know. Let's play fast money. You're going to answer five questions. Give me the best answers you can think of for them. Then we'll do it all over again a second time. If both rounds add up to 200 points, you'll get the jackpot. Your time starts now. Name something with teeth.
Name something people compete with each other for. Name a play written by Shakespeare. What part of your body is always cold? Name something you'd hate to lose at the supermarket. We're all out of questions. All right, let's see how you do the second time around. It's time to face those questions again, but this time we want to hear some different answers. Ready? Start the clock. Name something with teeth. Name something people compete with each other for. Name a play written by Shakespeare. What part of your body is always cold? Name something you'd hate to lose at the supermarket. That's it. That's all the answers you can give. Well done. Let's see how well you did. For starters, we asked, Name something with teeth. These were your answers. These answers are looking good. Number one answer. Next up, we asked, name something people compete with each other for. So you said, let's see what the survey says. That's yeah. a top answer, great job. For the next survey question, we asked, name a play written by Shakespeare. So here's what you said. I think we might be good on this one. Ah. Nice work. That's a top answer. For question four, what part of your body is always cold? Your answers? And what are they worth? That's oh, yeah. it. It's a win. Awesome. You didn't just win. You won big. Let's take a quick look-see at the rest of your answers. You're taking home 20,000 big ones. Way to go. Thanks for playing. And I hope to see you again soon. Goodbye. So we're coming to the end of my YouTube video right now, so... Give a thumbs up button if you like the video so much. Click on that bell button to subscribe for more content. And if you saw the recent video interesting, share the comment right below the description so you can share some thoughts and feelings with everybody in the community and make them feel welcome. So I make a happy Corona night five. You all have a great day and peace out.